YouTube, welcome back to today's side hustle of the day. Today's side hustle actually comes from my hometown, my home city of Houston, Texas. Um, today we're highlighting Nicole Bergers. I thought it was Burgers, but found out it's Bergers, who was originally an SEO specialist and a cheesemonger, which I didn't know what that was, but it's similar to like a sommelier, somebody who knows a lot about wines. They know, cheesemongers know a lot about cheese. Who doesn't love a good, good piece of cheese, you know, that smells like unbelievably bad but tastes unbelievably good mm, cheese and wine so anyway while working in that world she started finding out that people had a, a huge desire for really natural local honey and even when things were being sold in uh, boutique shops or, or online for a lot of people at the time this was a few years ago two three years ago wasn't local enough so she set out to set up an indiegogo she set up b2b honey collective basically with a mission of being able to set up uh, bee, bee colonies, beehives in your backyard or in your uh, commercial uh, residence or area. It sounds really strange, but there's a lot of money in, in bees. There's a lot of money in honey. And there's a lot of money in actually having people who are growing their own honey or harvesting their own honey, bottle it and then sell it, or actually somebody letting you use their backyard. And almost like a, like a pool cleaner or any kind of uh, you know a lawn care service, they go and they harvest the honey, they, they take care of, you know, the, I guess, the bee colonies, beehives that they set up in your backyard, and you get paid for that as well. It's a really, really interesting business model. Um, it's, a, <laughs> it's a sweet deal when the season's high. She estimates, uh, you know, making around $4,000 per month during the busy season and as low as, you know, 500 to 1,000 on the slower, slower months or in the slower season. Nicole's a really great example of a true hustler. She, shout out again, Business Insider. Uh, does things from renting out rooms for Airbnb. She's helping an, another friend start uh, a Kickstarter business and launch that. She does several things. She still works in the cheese industry, and she's obviously collecting sweet, sweet profits from this uh, honey harvesting. So if you're interested in finding out more about it yourself, maybe you're in the Houston area, or maybe you want to do this in your city. Maybe you're like, I love honey. I don't mind getting stung by bees on occasion if I'm not careful. See what she did. Visit their website, shown here and in the description. And simply just click on, uh, I would assume, about maybe, and find out maybe where you can buy the honey, uh, what, a, what is a honey collective. Send them a, a message. Maybe you want to get into the watching bees kind of world and uh, see what it would take to either work for them, start your own side hustle that's related to bees and honey. But definitely don't do nothing. Don't do squat. Do something. Take this as a motivation to maybe start your own side hustle with your own food. Uh, this might be the first food. I know we covered coffee. We covered the surveys. And uh, now we're talking about honey. Find that thing you like. Jams, pickles. I remember going to, uh, you know, we go to the farmer's market periodically just to see what our local uh, friends and community members are doing. And uh, this honey business blew up. You know, we got picked up by uh, HEBs and Central Markets and Whole Foods. Another one was, a, I think, a cookie dough company that, you know, it, it all started at the super low level of just doing one farmer's market and then multiple farmer's markets. And then before you know it, you're making at least 4K from watching bees, like taking care of bees and harvesting the honey. And that's not on, that's, that's aside from, I don't know if you can hear the thunder, it's about to come down. That's aside from actually the online bee honey sales. So the things that she harvests, she obviously bottles and sells that. So it's a pretty sweet deal. Uh, and on top of that, as you heard, she does several other things, multiple streams of income, right? So she no longer has to just be an SEO specialist behind her desk. If she doesn't want to, she doesn't have to do anything. She can do everything, as a matter of fact, and so can you. So remember, a goal without a plan is just to wish everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow. Enjoy your day.